Hi, how you doing? This is Stephen Bishop, and you are watching MadamNoir.com. How did I get the role of David? Um, I actually have worked with Mara and Salim on a couple of occasions before this on Girlfriends and on the game, so uh, they were aware of me and my work, and they just came to me and offered me the role. It was. That's, you know, that's one of the things as an actor that you look forward to, you know, hopefully getting in your career is a place where people know your work and they just want to work with you. You don't have to jump through the hoops that, you know, you have to on, the, on your ascent. But um, Mara and Salim trusted me and they, you know, obviously gave me an opportunity that it turned out to be a great one. Knowing what I know about the characters and the arc of the story, who should Mary Jane be with and why? Uh, all I can really say there is I'm Team David all the way. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always stick to that gun. And I think, of course, she should be with David. I mean, that's, it's a long time love of hers. And if uh, they were capable of getting on the same page, which is the, the task at hand for most people in relationships, they could have something good. But um, I, you know, Andre is clearly married to someone. And although they're in, uh, they're going through their troubles and tribulations, it's still not, you know, anything conducive to Mary Jane being happy. So, you know, either deal with all the drama that's going to come with that or, you know, get right with who brought you. David was very cool when he confronted Andre. And uh, if I was in the same position and I was dating a woman that I wasn't exclusive with, would I handle it the same? Uh, absolutely, I would handle it the same. I would handle it the same if I was in a relationship with a woman that I was dating exclusively. I would not be on his case about it. He probably doesn't know I'm dating her exclusively. I mean, it, let's face it, I mean, when we go out there and they, we do these, these things that are, you know, relating to infidelity, the first thing we, don't, we say is not, hey, by the way, uh, I'm married, or by the way, I have an exclusive girlfriend. So it's likely that the guy doesn't even know about me. And if he does know about me, then that's another conversation that we have to have, because if he knows about me, then it's likely he doesn't know me. And if he does know me, then that's a whole different conversation that we have to have. So I agree with exactly the way David handled it. I would handle it the exact same way. Right, he defended what he saw was his territory, but he didn't do it aggressively. He didn't run out there screaming and you know threatening and, and all that. He handled it like an adult. He asked if he could be of some assistance to the guy because clearly he was somewhere where he didn't want him to be. Uh, so he made it known that it wasn't, it wasn't cool, but he at the same time was cool about it. Um, we actually found out why Mary Jane and David broke up in the pilot movie. At this moment in time, they are broken up because, well, in the pilot, they broke up because David caught Mary Jane going through his phone and was tired of it and everything that led up to it just mounted and mounted and mounted and he said, I, I can't have it anymore. Um, when we get later into the, uh, the season, we find that there have been a couple of these breakups like most people do, they go back and forth and you know, some were her doing, this one happened to be his doing. So. Um, are we going to find out more about the breakup? No, we, we've, we found out why they're broken up now. But we are going to find out more about the dynamic of their relationship. Right now, he seems to be just this mysterious guy that happens to show up when he wants. And I don't think the audience quite understands how deep their relationship is. And, you know, we will be seeing that. And um, it's not over. None of this, none of this nonsense is over. Well, I mean, if I'm going to be honest about it, it was not to be hung up on. You know what I mean? He's a good, great looking guy, clearly has a good career, drives a nice car, he's tatted up, so he's got the bad boy edge. You know, he's, he's, he's muscular, he's, you know, he's, he's pretty much the picture perfect guy without that one little caveat, you know? Uh, if he was single, I'm not sure David would see the light of day again, you know, on, on her phone. Never answer would be really never answer. but. She's hung up because it's, it's, you know, like I said, he's a, he's a great uh, example of a man physically and, and in a lot of ways. But there's also the forbidden fruit aspect of it. I mean, we all get addicted to things that are not good for us. Nobody's addicted, well, let's not say nobody, but very few people 
become addicted and have to go to rehab for eating healthy or for working out. You know, these addictions come from things that are terrible for us. We know they're terrible for us, and yet something keeps compelling us to indulge. And that's why she's hung up. It's the, it's the excitement, it's the adrenaline, it's the, the passion that comes from knowing that I can't really have you, so I gotta let you have everything I got in case this is the last time I see you, you know? So it's understandable, it's understandable.